So let's talk about quick collections first, then we're going to get into creating regular collections. But what exactly are quick collections for? You'll notice here under the catalog panel that it has the item quick collection. Well, a quick collection is basically a temporary collection for storing images to be able to categorize into an actual collection or to be able to keyword or whatever use you possibly might have in your workflow. It's just a temporary spot to store those. So the quick, the, the shortcut key to add items to a quick collection is actually B. So if I hold down shift and select these five photos right here and hit B, it's automatically going to add those to my quick collection. Now I can also add items to a quick collection by clicking this little circle right here. So I'm going to click B again to remove them from my quick collection and show you this little circle. Whenever I mouse over an image, you'll see this little circle appear at the top right. It'll also appear if I mouse over over the film strip. It appears right on the top right. So if I click this button right here, it'll also add it to my quick collection. And then once it's added, you can see the five images here. If I select it, it shows me just the images in my quick collection. Now from here, I can choose whether or not I want to move them into an actual collection or whatever I want to do with these photos. Let's say that Undefined, the maker of this bag, they wanted these five images right away. So I'm going to group these into a quick, uh, quick collection first, and then I'm going to store these images into an actual collection. To do that, I'm going to select my images, and I'm going to hit plus, and then create collection. Okay, I'm going to name this Undefined Rush, uh, we'll say Rush Request. And I don't want to put it into a different set because it's going to ask me what kind of what set I want to put under. Right now, the only other set I've created is the Smart Collections, which comes default actually with Lightroom. And I don't want to put it in a Smart Collection because it's not a Smart Collection uh, collection. So I want to keep it under No Set, and I also want to have it include selected photos. And I don't want it to make virtual copies of every single photo that I add to this set. So I'm going to hit Create, and right away this goes into the undefined Rush request. Okay, so now if I remove these items from my quick collection by hitting B, they're still going to be in my undefined rush request collection right here. So now it's a permanent collection. So one thing to note with quick collections is that they are temporary. So uh, you can only have one quick collection at a time. If you sit there adding photos, it's not going into a new spot. It's going into that same exact temporary quick collection location. All right, so let's go on to the next video. We're going to talk about smart collections.